So hey, how are we doing? Welcome to this Apple Numbers tutorial. Um, somebody asked me in one of the comments of one of my videos about count if statements or count if formula. So I said it was really difficult in um, in numbers. So um, it's not really difficult in numbers. It's really straightforward in its basic form. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, so yeah, let's get numbers up and um, and let's crack on okay so here we are we've made this really really basic table I've got some numbers here and I've got some um, some numbers here also so these numbers here um, replicate the range of numbers that are in, in here I've got a 20 I've got a 16 I've got a 12 and a 10 in there and now I just want to count the amount of 20s let's say that are in that list there so i used the count if formula to do that okay so i highlight the cell that i want to place my formula in i press the equals key and now on the right hand side i have lots of functions here over on the right hand side in the inspector so i can just go to count if and i could select count if right there i suppose one of the easiest ways to do it is start typing your formula and then it will come up. So use the arrow keys to go across to the count if, or you can just type count if completely. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then I'm just gonna select the count if with my, um, with the mouse click. Now we can move this formula bar over and we can move it around the screen if we want. So you just go to the little corner, grab hand and move it around. So now the test array, all that's saying here is I've got the count if, to open the brackets. I've got the test array, I've got a little comma, and I've got the condition at the outside and then the closed brackets. These pieces are important. So the test array is just saying to me, what range of cells do you want me to look at? And the condition is saying, what is it, what number is it you want me to count in this instance? So if I highlight the test array like this, so you can see they both become gray when I click them. So I'm gonna gray, dark gray the test array and just drag down the range of cells I want it to look at. In this case, B2 to B17. And then I'm gonna highlight the gray. There's many ways you can do this, by the way. Highlight the condition, and I just want it to look at whatever's in cell A19, or I could just type a number in there. So then I click the little, um, the little tick button, and it's gonna tell me that I have here, in this range of cells, five twenties. So what, the way, obviously doing it this way by selecting the cell here, I could then change this to 18 and it will return it as zero. So that's, a, that's just a nice way of doing that. It'll look at whatever numbers in this cell and count how many of this range of cells match that number. Um, and in this case, five, look, one, two, three, four, and five cells. But the way of doing it this way, like instead of just putting the number there, is the beauty of doing it this way is that it counts whatever's in that cell. So let's look at doing it a different way with just the keyboard. I'm gonna equals on my keyboard to bring up the function um, or the formula bar if you like. I'm gonna start typing count if completely. I'm not gonna take my hands off the keyboard, I'm gonna click enter. So now on this test array, it's already grayed for me, you can see. I can just start typing. Can you remember re remember the, the, the way that it give, a, give us it when we selected the cells? It was um, cell B2, semicolon to B17. Now I'm just typing this. I can press enter again. It'll take me to the next phase. Remember I need that comma in, comma, and it'll automatically highlight the condition for me. And in here, I can just type the number. In this instance, we're looking at 16. Look, 16, press enter, and then it will return in that cell how many times that it sees the number 16 in here. The only difference here, I can change this to 18, and this won't change. The reason that won't change is because I didn't, remember I didn't put a cell in here move this over I didn't put a cell in here instead I put an actual number so if I if I wanted it to change to the cell I'd then have to put in a 20 to replicate the cell press enter press enter again and now it would change the number based 
on whatever is in that cell. Okay, so I think that's really, really simple. Um, there's nothing difficult about it, and it's just just a little bit of practice. So practice with the, you know, with the formulas or the function as they're known in um, in numbers. And um, and once you get to use them and you've used them, a, a, you know, a bit, it is. I've always said that sort of Excel is, you know, Microsoft have the monopoly on productivity tools pretty much. Um, but um, but yeah, numbers, pages, it's not that far behind. There's not a lot you can't or can do in Excel that you can't do with um, can't do in numbers. So. I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial and I hope it um, helps you out in some way. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will, um, yeah, I'll catch you all again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.